Thus says the Lord God, I will put an end to this proverb. They shall use it no more as a proverb in Springfield. They shall use it no more as a proverb in Eagle Heights. They shall use it no more as a proverb in America. But say to them, the days are at hand in the fulfillment of every vision. I prophesy the fulfillment of every vision. Every vision of your mama and daddy. Every vision of the two of you. And the visions that shall come even to David and to the leaders of this house. I declare and decree in the name of the Most High God that the proverb of delay is over. The curse of delay is over. The incantations and even the witches and warlocks that have spoke against this house, their words are severed from this house and severed from you and your lineage, declares the Lord. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall be performed. It will come to pass. It shall no more be delayed or prolonged. Say no more delay. No more delay. No, long, no more prolonged. For in your days, say in my days, the word that the Lord speaks will be performed, says the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that Ezekiel sees is for many days to come. And he prophesies of times that are far off. You said this was coming in four years. You said this was coming down the road, but it's not far off. Therefore say to them, thus says the Lord God, there shall none of my words be deferred anymore. No more deferment. No more deferment. No more deferment. No more delay. But the word which I have spoken shall be performed, says the Lord God. So God, we war with your word. We use your word as a spiritual ramming rod. We use your word as a weapon, as a two-edged sword. And we penetrate through the heavens that have been over this house. And we declare and decree no more delay. No more, no more prolongment. No more deferral. In the name of Jesus. And I come in agreement with the apostle and prophetess of this house. Those that you've chosen to be the foundation of this ministry, the covering of this house, I come in agreement that as they move forward in your word and the sound of your voice, as they stand upon what you have spoken, that Lord, this house, the limitations that have been over it will be broken off of it. And Lord, the local will become global. As they go global, the local will grow. We decree it. We declare it. We prophesy it. God, we thank you for what you're going to do in Prophetess Lolita. What you're going to do, Lord, in Pastor Jason. What you're going to do in them and the role that they're to play. And we thank you for what you're doing in, in David, Lord, as he's, you're raising him up. Lord, even with a pastoral and even an apostolic grace to be a set man to carry the vision to where you desire it to go. And we thank you for the flourishing of this house, the flourishing, the growth of your people. You said those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God in Psalms 92. We decree and declare every member that stays planted yes. will flourish in your courts. Yes. They will flourish. They will prosper. We decree it in Jesus' name. We thank you. Stand up some. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands. There's a lowering down. Somebody stand up. There's a lowering down of a blueprint coming to you of what to do with this house as it advances. 
is coming upon you, but I come, he will hover over you. He will hover over you in the night seasons. The Lord says over the next few months, you're going to download after download after download after download is coming to you. And he's going to give you words and strategies and plans. And the Lord says, don't say I'm too young. I'm, I'm, I'm a child. The Lord says, just like he told Jeremiah, I, I, keep your face, keep your face forward. Don't be confounded by the faces of men. The Lord says, he's ordained you. He's going to release his voice for you, and the house will grow. The house will flourish. The, fact, the house will increase. And the Lord says that you honor your parents, as you honor them as the apostle and prophetess, the foundation of this house. The Lord says he will honor you, and the people will honor you, and the house will grow, and it will grow in the next place. There won't be room enough. In the next place, it will grow and it will increase and it will flourish, says the Spirit of the Lord. I put my hand upon you like Joshua and you will lead my people into the promised land. We release it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mixed upon the pastoral comes the apostolic. And the Lord says what it took your parents years and years to come into. The Lord says even over the next few years, you'll begin to flourish as a young lion in the spirit. As an apostle that will release a roar in this atmosphere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now come on the top of shout. says that you don't have to wait for the wife to be the leader that I've called you to be. He says, as you're married to my church, so will the marriage come. So will the wife come. The Lord says, you don't have to have it all in order. You've had your plans. I'll do this and I'll get the house and I'll have the wife and I'll do this. To boo -boo 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 -boo. You've been saying that to the Lord. But the Lord said, that's not my plan. My plan is that you're married to my house. You're married to see my house flourish. And he says, as the bride, as you care for my bride, my house, the Lord says, there'll be a bride that will come beside you, that will run with you for the vision, says the Lord. I'll come on, lift up a shout. There's a shift in this house, and the mantle, the mantle that's been on Prophetess Brenda, is coming upon you. And that mantle that's been, and even though she's going to be gone, it'll be like she's not gone. And she's going to be in other nations, and other cities, and other places. He'll be there. You're going to begin to flourish uh, as a prophetess of song and of sound and sure words. And the Lord says that uh, that there's a you. You have to release a sound. You have to release an album. You have supported yeah. his servant, and you'll continue to do that. But there's also a birthing for you that comes in this season. God says, well done. You've been faithful to serve. You've been faithful to care for, for the woman of this house. You've been faithful. And the Lord says now, is even as you remain planted and continue to release the word of the Lord, God says there's a sound, there's an album, there's, I don't know what you call it these days, EP. Project. There's a project coming out of you that's going to touch this city and touch the nations. Hallelujah. Yep. Jesus. Said that also. Same word. And, and Jason, God's going to give you understanding of your role. He's going to give you understanding of your role. Your role is very strategic for the harvest. It, it, so he's going to break your lid off. Your, 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 your lid, your ceiling is coming off. You're not just a teacher. You're not just a preacher. You're not just a pastor. He's going to show you how to be a harvester. And this house is going to flourish much, greatly, through your ability to see the harvest and bring the harvest in. It's going to be really key. He's, he's got to break this church out of these four walls. Yeah. And, and it's very strategic. He's going to give you dreams. He's going to begin to compel you uh, into the harvest field. He's going to pull you. And as you go into the harvest field, this house will follow you. And, and I see it. I see the band. I see a band in, yeah. in parking lots. I see a band under tents. I see a band in the streets. 
I, I see all, I, as you do that, then the people will be attracted. Jesus. I see you raising up people that know how to do prophetic evangelism. And they're not going to, you're not just handing out tracts, but you're, and if you need help with this, I can help with this. I teach this all over. But, but you need to get somebody that you can partner with that teaches you to get out of the box to prophesy to people in the streets and get them delivered and healed and get them into the kingdom. And, and that's something that, that, that oxen one that I prophesied over that, that you the other night, that's what's coming on. I'm not trying to change your gift. It's all right to be who you are, but there is a new grace coming to you. It's the ox anointing, the evangelistic, because this church needs to get out of these walls. you stayed here too long. God says, why sit you here till you die? Right. You can't sit here in this building anymore. Yep, exactly. And so y'all can do what you want, but God has another place True. for you. True. If you'll listen to the yep. Lord. If y'all won't be married to this, God will give give you the city. But you have to you have to let go of this. Amen. Yes, Brittany, the Lord says he's removing all discouragement, all depression. There's been nights in your room when no one was around that you've been broken and you've cried and you said, God, what do I do? What is my place? Why, why, why do I feel this way? I know I shouldn't feel this way. You get in the presence of God and when you get in the presence of God, you feel such joy, but then there's times you get home and you feel all alone. The Lord says he's removing that discouragement and that loneliness and it's healing your brokenness. And the Lord says that you're going to find this even in these days. And the Lord says there'll be times, yes, that you'll go abroad with your parents and there's times that you'll be here. But the Lord says as you continue in the presence of the Lord and if you'll be married to me, if you'll just give me this next year of your life, will you give me this next year? Will you give it totally to me? Don't let anybody invade this bubble with you and me. This next year, if you'll give yourself wholly to me, the Lord says when you come out of this next year, you'll be that woman that I've prepared for the man that I've called to stand with you, says the Spirit of the Lord. The Lord said don't seek him. The Lord said he's seeking you. But the Lord says I have need of you to be in that place with me. If you'll be in that place, the Lord says, I'll not only heal your brokenness and the wounds of your heart, the Lord says, I'll make you the woman that's ready to be that bride for that man that I've called. For surely I've called a man, a man unto the nations, a man who has a heart after me. This man doesn't look like those that have come around that have been pretenders. This man is a man after my heart. So wait, wait upon me. The Lord says, I'll renew your strength, says the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on, lift up your hands. Just love you, Jesus. So, Father, we just thank you for this family, this beautiful family, the McClintocks. We thank you for the leadership you've gathered around them. Thank you for this ministry. And we come in agreement with the angels you've assigned. I see all kinds of angels. Wow. All kinds of angels that are just whirling around this place. And they're whirling around this place like in fast motion. And they're wanting to lift you up out of here to take you to your promised land. Uh, last two nights ago, Ibn saw the angels in the building. He saw a bunch of angels. I'm seeing them right now. All around. And they're here like the chariot when they lifted up the prophet to take him out. There's, there's angels want to take you out off of this season of delay and usher you in acceleration to your promised land. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. It's really key. So listen. Listen, listen, listen. I, I'm not a popular prophet sometimes, so please forgive me. No, don't you speak. You guys that are here, don't you speak anything against this next season. If you don't understand it, shut your mouth or God will shut it for you. Okay? If you don't understand it, shut your mouth. I'm reminded of John the Baptist. When he was born, his dad wanted to name him Zachariah Jr. He wanted the same again. He wanted the same again. And you keep having the same cycle if you keep naming it the same thing. You're identifying where you're going. 
causes your destination to repeat itself. So if you want it, you want the same thing, you keep calling it the same thing. Don't identify where you're going with where you've been. I'm prophesying to you right now. So it's very, 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 very yes. important. Yes. Zachariah couldn't get a hold of this, so he was muted. Right. God muted him. He went, mute. Say and he couldn't say nothing until, right. until he agreed with God. That's and when right. he agreed with God and called it what God wanted him to call it, they wrote it yes. down. Then John came forth. And John prepared the way for the coming of the Lord. Are you in this house? Yes. There cannot be what you need to see. If you try to name him, what they've been, you will not see your promised land. He's going to do things different. And it's on purpose. Because the foundation can't keep building the foundation. It won't be the same. It will not It will always honor them. But if you'll let him build what he, God is showing, then it will take it to the next level. It will be John. It won't be Zachariah Jr. It's not going to be Apostle Don Jr. and Prophetess Brenda Jr. You hear me? I hope you recorded this because the whole church needs to hear this. Yeah, I got it. Okay. This is, they're going to love this word. All right. Everybody loves Jaguars and Cadillacs, but this is fun stuff right here. And I, you know. So, listen. Name it, John. Name it what it needs to be named. Do it what it needs to be done. Otherwise, it'll be muted. I'm talking to all of you. You don't understand it. Are you leaving me, Apostle? Are you leaving me, Providence? No, they're not leaving you. They're increasing you. They're expanding you. Yes. They're still in this house. They're just taking the tent pegs, and they're spreading them to other states, other cities, and other nations. And if you'll let them and you'll bless them to do that, then you'll get places one day that you can go to see more of your family. Amen. 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 You'll be able to go to another nation, another city, or maybe they might ask you, hey, we want to plant another church. Can I use you to be the pastor? Can I use you to be the prophet? And the house can keep expanding. But if you if you if you don't catch it by the spirit, you'll think that they've left you. They haven't left you. They're expanding you. They're increasing you. Amen. You see it? You see it? Well, I'm called to be your armor bearer, prophetess, and you're not here anymore. You know, you're not just her armor bearer in the natural, in the spirit. So if she's not here, you should be praying for her and heading off devils. Exactly. Just yes. like if she were here. Right. She needs you all the more now. That's yeah. right. Come on now. Yeah. And then you turn around and then and then when his first lady comes, Amen. she's coming. Yes. When she comes, he said, I receive it. Amen. Yes. When she comes, then, then you say, well, you know what? I, I believe in the vision and my apostles and the prophet. Now I'll serve her too. Right, right. That's and I'll right. serve him too. Jesus said, if you receive those I send, you receive me. If you don't receive them, you don't receive me. Yeah, so if right. you really believe this house is apostolic, yeah. whoever they set in place, you receive or you reject them. them. Yeah. So you receive those that are set, and then God can bless you. Amen. I didn't give the popular word, but yeah. it's an on top word. Amen. Love you guys. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Up here, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. So this is so crucial. What happened right here, right now. Just amongst the workers that decided to work and to serve. Thought you were coming to unload a truck, and you will come to unload a truck. But the prophecy that came forth, the richness of God's word right here, is a flow. This has just been the headwaters, but now as it flows, the deeper it goes. <laughs> and we're growing, yes. going, and glowing. The Lord had to give that word just before fire and glory. I told him that, that we're growing, going, and glowing. And now the Lord is coming. He reminded me, well, you spoke that, and that was from me. 
So get ready. You're growing, going, and glowing. And if you're not going, you're not glowing or growing. And if you're not glowing, you're not going, growing. They all go together. So as we go, we grow. As we grow, we go. As we glow, we go, we grow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because we're surging. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We seal it. We seal it in the spirit that which you have released is manifested. That which you have released is already manifesting now. We'll give you praise. We'll give you honor. We'll give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah.